big, 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 big changes, right? But today, enjoy what you have, and then uh, things are going to change down the road. Current temperatures, low to upper 40s, low to upper 40s. Your average high for this day is around 38 to 41 degrees. This is what, 9 in the morning. The high occurs typically 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So that shows you that we're running warm, and we've been running warm. I'm getting ahead of myself. Umbrella, yeah, there's light rain with this warm front headed this way later this afternoon. It's very light, though. Very light in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan, over to Jersey, through Long Island, through Connecticut and Westchester. Uh, yeah, it's light rain. It's not a big deal, but take the umbrella just in case. Story number two, January like March. Look at the temperatures now. Uh, 25 times above and t only one below and two normal. We're, uh, the temperatures are running a good 10 degrees almost above average, above average. So winds out of the southwest today. Southwest wind is the transportation of warm air from the Gulf of Mexico and from the tropics, from the Atlantic. It breaks down, the temperatures break down like this. If the southwest wind is more than five miles an hour, I think it's possible to flirt with 60 degrees. It's possible today because we're already at 47. We went up 16 degrees yesterday from the low to the high. So persistence would tell me it's possible to get up to 60 today if the winds are strong enough. So the Bronx, Soundview? 57. Bensonhurst in Brooklyn, mid 50s. Elizabeth, New Jersey, there's a chance if the winds are strong enough, it's 60 degrees for Elizabeth. And then for Westchester, 54. Levittown, Long Island, 53. Keep in mind, you're saying, Byron, man, there's a lot of clouds. The sun won't be able to heat us up. We don't need the sun to heat us up. <laughs> you can get, with warm air convection coming up with the southwest wind, you can get your high, and we did this a couple times last week, at midnight. Ain't no sun, as I say in my hood, at midnight, right? So it's possible. But if the winds are light, then maybe only 50 to 55. Either way, way above where we should be. This is the big change that John and Kirsten were just alluding to. Saturday, you know a north wind out of Canada. Typically at this time of year, I use Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto to see what their temperature is when we have a north wind. And I know that our temperature won't be far away from that because they're so close that it will transport that colder air from Toronto and Quebec over to us. Look at that. We're going to make this color tomorrow magenta. For Saturday, Friday is no walk in the park either, but this is the worst case scenario. These wind chills, 25 below zero for the Bronx, for Brooklyn, for Queens, Manhattan, uh, for Staten Island, through, through Jersey, into Westchester and Levittown and Long Island. These wind chills, you don't typically see these wind chills here in the dry say. You see those, you know, back in the Midwest or up in Canada, but not here, and that is possible. A Saturday morning. Today, 55, maybe a little bit warmer. Tomorrow, still looking good. Well above average. And then Tuesday, February's coming in like a lion, right, guys? Uh, with the temperatures starting to drop by Friday and Saturday. Back to you guys.